Hey, I'm on uh, Green River Lake today. I'm going to show you some advanced settings on the Hummingbird Helix. Uh, the settings I like and settings I use. So uh, let's get to it. So just so that I can take you from the beginning. I'm going to go in here and restore factory defaults. And that'll, that'll take it back to uh, factory settings. And then it'll be just like it came out of the box. All right, once you power up your unit, first thing you need to do is go in to your chart display, chart orientation, put that on heads up. If that's the only thing you do, it, at least put that on heads up. What that does is it orientates the map to the way the boat is pointing. Go into settings, right here on user mode, it's in angler. Um, on this one, it's called custom. Some of them it's called advanced. But go into custom mode and then go in here to your alarms I just turn them all off because anywhere I'm fishing I don't need them um, unless you've got it hooked up to your trolling motor and you're trying to get within a certain distance or arrival of, of your waypoint I turn all my alarms off. Um, frequencies on your sonar, clear mode, max down image, fish, fish sensitivity. Of course, I turn everything, I turn everything off that I'm not going to use. Which everything seems to be off <laughs> so i got lucky on that one color bar you turn that off temperature graph off okay navigation um i like to put about 50 foot casting rings on my waypoints that way i can uh, stop before i run over top of it and 50 foot is not a very very long cast um Everything else, you can leave the same. Um, chart, auto, heads up, bird's eye, it's visible. I turn that off. True north, north indicator. You can leave that on. Um, yeah, everything's already hidden. All right, we'll come back to this one, the hummingbird chart. You have to have a hummingbird uh, SD card in your unit for that settings feet mile per air English overlay I like overlay readouts instead of uh, instead of the boxes boxes just take up too much of your screen don't know if it's the right time zone Everything else stays the same. Here is probably the most important one, is your views. Um, I go through, just like before, turn everything off that you don't want to use. Um, it's just like a computer having uh, windows open in the background. It is, uh, it's using it's using power to run those pages in the background, so best thing to do is go through, turn every one of them off, or hide them in this case. I only use like five screens. Um, I'll show you them in a minute whenever I... Oops, I don't want the chart view by itself. I like the chart in the 2D. I like that one. Chart down combo. Nah. Side combo. I like that one. I like that one. Chart sonar down combo. I like that one. Chart sonar side. I like that one. Down side combo. I like that one. <laughs> Alright. I went through and 
hid hid all the screens that I don't want and I'll show you why whenever you hit view you have to toggle through all these screens if you hide them all you just got the ones that you want and what I like to do is use my presets um, I like to do the chart sonar I'll set it but I'll run this all the way all the way over there that way you can use that when you're uh, when you're going down the lake you can see your map and then if you're idling out and you need to know how deep you are to take off that is my preset number one preset number two is side scan only preset number three is I must have, oh this one I use side scan 2d and down image that's my presets I need to go back and hide that other one that way you can it, it's probably out of order now but anyway I've got chart side image side image down image and 2d if I'm on this one and I want to go to chart and side view I just hit the view button if I'm on this one and I just want to see these two I hit exit see it's out of order I need to go in there and hide that one and it goes to this screen this is the one that I, I use a lot when I'm going island over top of a brush pile now your chart speed on um, on your 2d sonar it shoots a cone on your down image and side image the boat has to be moving for it to work on the down image and side image it shoots real narrow beams so the boat has to be moving to draw the picture and to determine your chart speed is you put your boat in in forward gear you don't give it any gas and you see how fast it, it idles mine idles between three and four mile an hour so four would be a good speed but I like to I like to side scan a little faster so I put it on five and I can side scan about five mile an hour and I can still get a good picture um, if uh, oh, go in here to network the 2d is on this one down image is on this one side image is on this one uh, 360 is on the one on the bow the temperature is on this one the GPS is using the internal of this one so you can go in there and check which one you want the GPS to read off of I also have an external uh, antenna up there too that I can use but I was getting interference with it and it was giving me false reading so I had to take it off then that's pretty much the settings for the advanced or custom settings that I use I will go back in and hide that one screen but if you got a hummingbird helix uh, or any of them they all they're all about the same they might say they might be labeled different but try those settings and see if, uh, if it helps you out and get a better picture now that I've got all my screens set my presets set where I, where I want them I'm gonna go ahead here and adjust my side image like right now it's sitting on a hundred feet um, if I'm just looking for, at new water I usually run it between 80 to 90 feet it depends on your water depth um, I don't really like this default color I like number one which is blue or number four which is kind of a brownish looking but for now we'll go for with blue and I do the same thing on the on the on my down image too I try to keep them about on the same color but you can see the thermocline setting up there about 15 feet so I'll auto over some stuff here and like on a helix to adjust your uh, sensitivity you just hit the plus or minus button and you can see how bright it's getting sensitivity is pretty high if you ever max out your sensitivity hit your little check mark 
and it would change your frequency and then you can dial it back down a little bit we're getting in shallow water here so run my frequency back I like to go until it gets bright and then back it down a click or two there's some fish sitting right there but you can see I'm not using the full 80 feet so you could bring it in closer for more detail you can see all the sticks and stuff See if I can turn around without hitting the bottom. If I'm going over new water, I like to use, the, oops, I usually use this page. And I split it over here like that. That way I can follow my contour, plus see, uh, plus see my image. But see if we can't mark something here. I'll go to it. I'll go to the number four. Show you what it looks like. I kind of I like that one too. There's there's some fish right there. See those white dots? If you want to mark them, just use your cursor. I like to wait till it gets down here a little bit. That way you don't have to run it up so far. Hit mark. Then if you want to go back to it, I since you put your map orientation on uh, heads up all you have to do is get this blue dot at 12 o'clock and just drive straight over top of it the color shading is off it just went to like a factory setting I'll, I'll show you how to set that in just a second but anyway we're coming straight in on our on our waypoint switch it back over it should go right over top of it now there they are it ain't much but if you do have a, a hummingbird, I will show you how to set your uh, colors. You go to hummingbird chart, shallow water, 10 foot. All right, since our thermocline is setting up about 15 feet, I'm gonna run this about 12, and then I'll run this one about 18. You got plus or minus three feet there. Now, all you have to do is idle in the green, and that should be where your fish are located. I don't think they'll be any deeper than that, unless like the tree could be in like 20 foot of water, then they'll be suspended over top of it in 15 foot. But if you wanted to go scope out some spots and you can tell right there that that waypoint is in the green right on the edge of it and that's where the fish were sitting i went over it pretty quick because i'm really wanting to go fishing so i probably skipped a lot of stuff but if you have any questions just leave them in the comments below and i'll be glad to answer them thanks for watching